at this moment you can see on your device problem number four is showing and it is from the chapter of capital budgeting and here we have to find out average rate of return so if we consider the problem then we will find that our project has initial investment or initial cash outlay which is dollar one lakh and the expected life of the project is five years and here we are also given cash flows after depreciation and taxes for next five years so considering this information we have to solve every rate of freedom let's see how we can solve this problem as well therefore we will write problem number four and where we have to initially find out total value of earning after tax so we can just draw a table so first column we will consider year and second column we will consider the amount of earnings after tax so here year and earning after tax or EAT and where we will just mention as title of the table calculation of total EAT so we are given five years cash flows after depreciation and tax so we are given five years information I mean cash flows after depreciation and tax and first year we are given dollar twenty thousand and second year we are given twenty four thousand and third year it is twenty eight thousand and fourth year we are given thirty two thousand and finally last year I mean fifth year the earning after tax is forty thousand so we have to just sum this earning after tax we can write total so total EAT if we sum then it will be one lakh and forty four thousand dollar so our main task is to find out average rate of return so we can write here and as we know average rate of return or ARR equal average earning after tax that will be divided by average investment and as it is rate of return so we have to just multiply by 100 so here average earnings after tax the formula is sum of EAT or total amount of earning after tax and it will be divided by project life or duration whatever we said so total EAT we have computed one lakh and forty four thousand dollar so one lakh forty four thousand that will be divided by project life which is five years so we will divide by five and if we divide it will be dollar twenty eight thousand and eight hundred on the other hand average investment will be amount of investment or initial investment or cash outlay whatever we write so initial investment it will be divided by 2 we are given in the question initial investment as 1 lakh dollar 
so if we divide by 2 it will be dollar 50,000 so we have computed two components of the equation where average EAT we have found 28,800 and average investment we have computed 50,000 now our task is to just input into the equation so in the denominator we will write dollar 28,800 that will be divided by 50,000 and multiplied by 100 so if we divide 28,800 by 50,000 it will be 0.576 if we multiply by 100 it will be 57.6 percent so we have computed average rate of return so it is very easy computation i think you have come to understand how to solve this problem so first of all we have to just find out sum of earning after tax then we will consider this equation where denominator will be average earning after tax that will be divided by average investment so here average EAT will be total earning after tax that will be divided by project life or number of years of that particular investment and uh, if we consider average investment that will be initial investment or initial cash outlay that will be divided by two in this way we can get average EAT and average investment and then if we just input into the equation we will get the percentage of average rate of return so in this way you can easily compute average rate of return and hopefully you have come to understand how to solve this problem and I think this will be very helpful for your next computation